Hi everyone, welcome to the season finale of Recipe on the Back. Yes, we have made it to the end of the season. It's been great, we've had laughs, we've had cries, I think. If not, I've had an internal cry for sure. It's been a blast. And unfortunately, all good things must come to an end and this season has come to a close. But we have one more recipe. This is a show where I try recipes that I find on random grocery store products. I make them, I let you know if they're any good, I rate them, and we have a good time. So let's get started. This week's episode, we are making what I think is a dish that's really out there from a product that is divided among people, okay? Probably get some message of someone saying, that's not a real product, why are you using that? That's garbage, and you're right but it's delicious garbage, okay? We are making linguine and crab salad from this Kroger chunk style crab select imitation crab meat. Now, normally I don't want imitation anything in my kitchen. I have such a soft spot for imitation crab, uh, especially like in a California roll for sushi. I mean, you can't call it sushi really, but I don't know, it's just so good. And they say it's imitation crab, but there is seafood in it. There's Alask Alaskan Pollock and then like a bunch of random stuff, right? Artificial flavor, but we don't have to talk about that. I thought, what better time to try a recipe like this than on the show? So that's what we're doing. And the ingredients are the imitation crab, linguine, lemon juice, oil, green onions, sugar, Italian seasoning, seasoned salt, red pepper sauce, I don't know what that is. Maybe like hot sauce? Peas and tomatoes. That's it. Okay, first things first is cook the linguine. I have a pot of boiling water. Always cook your pasta in boiling water. You wanna season it, season it, season it, season it. Very, very, oh my God, I can't talk. You wanna season it very liberally with salt. One of my biggest pet peeves, when people cook pasta, they don't salt the water enough. If you think about it, this pasta does not have flavor by itself. The only way to impart flavor onto the pasta itself is by cooking it in lots of salted water. Now, this is very serious. I'm gonna get a lot of hate. I'm gonna piss off a lot of Italians right now. The point of this show is to follow the recipe as it's written. Now, I've taken some leeway on some recipes, but with this one, I'm not gonna do it because I kinda see why they want me to do this, and so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but it's gonna have me break these noodles in half. Now, the reason why I think they're breaking them is because it's a salad and you're gonna mix things together. I think it would be hard to have like full length noodles in here while you're trying to toss everything. So I think they're just trying to minimize the size, okay? So I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, but okay. Now we're adding it to the pot of water. You wanna stir it around, let it cook for 10 minutes and then drain it. While that cooks, you're going to, in a large bowl, combine lemon juice, the oil, and the green onions with basically everything else. A quarter cup of lemon juice. So depending on how juicy your lemons are, you might just need one, maybe two. So with lemons, if they feel very like firm to you, roll your lemon on your surface like a cutting board or a counter. Um, if you roll it like this, you'll see that it starts getting really soft. That's like breaking up the insides of the lemon and it starts releasing all of those juices. Either squeeze your lemon cut side up so the seeds stay up like this, right? Then you don't have a problem with the seeds falling down. You can do that. Or uh, use your hands as like a strainer and squeeze it into your hands and then the juice will run through your fingers and the seeds will stay an eighth of a cup of vegetable oil. Now, I'm not a big fan of vegetable oil. Unless like I'm deep frying something, then I'll use vegetable oil for that. But for this and like marinades and stuff, I'm gonna, I like using olive oil. So I'm gonna use olive oil instead. Eighth of a cup, so two tablespoons. A quarter cup of sliced green onions. Um, so I chop off the very tops of it and then the very ends. And again, I think I said this in one of the other episodes, use the whites as well. I've always seen people just use the greens and then they toss the white part, but there's all the flavors down there, I feel like. Quarter cup of scallions, 
the seasonings, which is two teaspoons of sugar. And I think that's to kind of like balance out some of that tartness from the lemon. Sugar, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Some of the brands are different, but typically they all have like a mixture of dried parsley, dried oregano, maybe a little um, basil. And then we're doing a quarter teaspoon of seasoned salt. Half a teaspoon of red pepper sauce. I think that's hot sauce. I don't know why they say red pepper sauce, right? That's weird. It's hot sauce, I think. So half a teaspoon, we stir that together. So we have the one package of the imitation crab. It doesn't say to slice it or anything. It already comes like in these chunks. I think I'll just keep it in the chunks. Just kind of separate it as you add it to the bowl. Don't knock it, because I really like this stuff. It just has like a, a distinct flavor to it that like takes me back to like my childhood because you know no kid really likes seafood. One 10 ounce package of frozen peas that you thawed. Two tomatoes chopped. Doesn't have to be perfect, just roughly chop it. Again, make sure they're all relatively the same size. What would be great in here as well is um, some corn, especially like in the summer when the corn is, is in season, some fresh corn in here would be delicious. So let's mix this together. And this is our little dressing. Okay, it doesn't say to add pepper, but I'm gonna add a little bit. Okay, noodles are done. You wanna drain them, and then the recipe says, add them while they're hot to this mixture. Listen, is it gonna be good? We don't know, but the whole point of the show is to try these things, these recipes that maybe are good and maybe they're not. Looks, looks delicious. The only weird thing I'm gonna say, aside from that we're making imitation crab pasta, is that it tells you to chill it and then serve it. Mm, it seems a little weird, because I just feel like, with this amount of noodles, and that's what they listed here. Maybe I added too many noodles. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't read this right. It's one seven ounce package. I did twice as much. I did a pound of pasta. No wonder it's dry. It soaked up all the dressing. It's okay. No one needs to know, okay? Ooh, this is the sauciest pasta I've ever seen. Aside from that, also, who sells pasta in seven ounce packages? No one does. It's always in 16 ounce. So this shouldn't be written as that. It should say seven ounces of linguine, not one seven ounce package. I'm right into Kroger. <laughs> this automatically lost a star, a Napoleon. <laughs> Anyhow, mix it all together and that's it. Chill and serve, but honestly, I would eat this warm. So that's what I'm gonna do because I don't know about, even if, even if I use the right amount of pasta, if I were to chill this, anyone knows if you're making a pasta salad, if you've ever made a pasta salad, you know. If you put this in the fridge to chill, the next day, an hour or two, the pasta salad would be dry. It soaks up all of the dressing. That doesn't make sense. Anyhow, that's it. That's our thingy, our dish. <laughs> Let's plate it up and we'll try it. I mean, it looks, it looks all right. It's not the most appetizing looking thing, you know? It's not winning beauty pageant awards. Maybe it'll win Miss Congeniality. She's beauty and she's grace. She's Miss United States. Favorite part of the show, trying it. Let's see. It smells good. I see why they made me break the pasta in half. Because it's exactly like I said, you wouldn't be able to eat this. Mmm, <laughs> I love this so much. Mm. Honestly, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst thing I've ever eaten or the worst thing I put in my mouth. <laughs> um, listen, it's very noodly and that's my fault as we've established, but really it's Kroger's fault in the way they wrote this recipe. I take responsibility, but only halfway. The rest goes to Kroger. Initial reaction, noodly, too much noodles too many noodles. <laughs> Second thing, it doesn't have oomph. Oomph. Like it's lemon. Lemon is what I'm tasting the most. And then like dried herbs. I'm gonna give it four Napoleons. Wasn't good. What it really needs is a hit of freshness, right? It needs herbs. It needs like mint, like I said, parsley, maybe some fresh basil knock this out of the park. But all I'm tasting is dry Italian seasoning, noodles, 
and then like meh. But it was fun to try it on the show. A great season finale recipe, honestly, you know. Maybe a great season finale recipe would have been a 10, if I'm being honest, but how would you know? There's no way I know if a recipe is a 10. I gotta make it and try it. And I tried it, I made it, I didn't like it. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching this season. It's been a blast. I've had a great time. I've basically been a guinea pig this season, trying things that uh, I normally wouldn't. I'm excited for the next season. I'm excited to hear what you all think of this show. You've taken everything out of me. I have nothing left to give. So come back again. Watch me next time. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me again. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Adios.